everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so so excited for you to be here today. We are talking about vision boards and I am super excited because this is something that I'm super passionate about and I've been learning a lot more about and I cannot wait to show you um, what I've been doing with my vision boards and how you can create your own vision board and how that actually helps you to attain your goals and manifest the things that you want from your life. First, I wanted to do a quick reminder of what my goals were for this year and in case you missed the other video, my goals at the moment were listen to my needs, take it slow, saving hacks to learn and find new podcasts to listen to people who inspire me and become a certified life coach. Now, I'm so excited to show you what I have created in my vision boards. I have got, as you can see, one here that is not online. I have printed some photos out and pop them in a frame that I wasn't using, which has been really helpful to see every day and just be in my room for me to look at. I found all of these photos on Pinterest. So Pinterest is definitely where I go to and what I'm looking at um, on how to start making a board and just getting ideas and being creative about it. So I wanted to talk to you a bit first just about even the logic and sort of science behind vision boards um, and how they actually affect your brain and make you move forward with your goals. I think one of the most interesting things is the reticulator activating system, so RAS, which is something that I've learned about when researching this and it really excited me and that was one that stuck with me and I even made flashcards in Quizlet about it um, to make sure that I was all around what it meant and how it relates to vision boards. But basically it's a network of neurons in your brain stem and it really helps you focus your attention. So when you're looking at the same images every day or regularly, it helps your brain prioritize um, that attention and relates it to the photos you're seeing and then helps you to be more aware of opportunities that are surrounding those goals um, and visions and they make them come to life, which I think is so exciting. So that's definitely something to think about. And I always like to go back on thinking about your unconscious and your, so, um, your unconscious and your conscious mind, because your unconscious mind actually has a 95 to 97% um, brain processing power compared to your conscious mind. That's actually only three to 5% processing power. So if you're constantly looking at these things or talking about them, then they're actually getting stuck in your unconscious mind, which has a much larger processing power than your conscious mind does. And I think that's really important for the repetition aspect of vision boards in looking at them and doing them. Anyway, enough of that. Going straight onto Pinterest, I'm going to show you my Pinterest board up here, what I've created for my vision for 2024. I've got a bunch of things on here about what I want to be and where I want to be. Um, it's all just really about taking it slow and being in my feminine era and it's making me so excited. Um, but that is that one there. And then this one is for my life coaching practice and what I want it to look like, what my powerful woman era is going to be. Um, and they're both taking it slow. And then I've got um, my saving hacks one. Now this has some saving hacks on one, this one down here. Um, but this one, my saving hacks one online has a bunch of stuff. It's just pictures of money. It's all quotes that will bring money back to me. And I love it so much. I'm here just adding some new ones. I love adding new ones and just titling it whatever I need to title it. And then once I've created them, 
or in Pinterest, what I do is I either go onto a Word, if I'm going to print them out, I might go onto a Word document and just put all the photos in there and then print them out on my printer and put them up in a frame like this and just rearrange and organize it to make it look pretty. You can see if I like a saving goes on there and just very feminine era kind of thing. I've got some quotes, money is abundant and always available to me, photos with couples, some Australian money, look for joy, some pictures of dresses that I really love and will really get me into that flowy era. Um, loving this one so much. I also love this frame. Um, and definitely a good one if you want, if you're crafty or you want to create something like that. Otherwise, I'm going to show you Canva. Um, this is what I do on Canva here. I go in and you can choose a template. Um, there's so many to choose from. You can create something that is very professional or just very creative or crazy. It's completely up to you. You choose the color palette, but this just makes you feel like you're your own graphic designer and it's really amazing. Um, you can pay for Canva and do a subscription and get heaps more options, but there is a free option as well. So that's definitely a great one to look at in Canva. I'll show you quickly like the Word documents that I put together before I print them out and then I just cut them and stick them or peg them onto the board. Um, but yeah, Canva, using printers to, to, create, to create them or Word documents to print them out if you like but also putting them as a desktop screensaver like I have here after putting it in Canva so that you're seeing it every single day. You can add writing and whatever. This is my phone screensaver. Um, I've had that for a while. That's just some things that I would love to have. And just remembering that looking at this every day brings in the universal law of attraction. I don't know if you've heard speaking about this. Um, Georgie Stevenson on her Rise and Conquer pro podcast um, has a few episodes on the laws of the universe and that's one of them, definitely one to listen to. But it basically turns, helps us turn our thoughts into our proper d desires and into reality. Um, which vision boards really help with because we know what we want. Um, but definitely go listen to that podcast if you want a better explanation of that universal law. Um, but yeah, those are my places that I go to create my vision boards. I also love just having them in Pinterest and like going through every week or so and putting them together. Um, I will show you now quickly actually how I put them together in Canva. I basically screenshot them from Pinterest um, and then import them into Canva and choose a template, then pop them all together in Canva um, and just rearrange it however I like. When you're done, you download it and then you can use it as your screensaver. You can use it in a big printer form you can print it as a poster if that's what you want to do but definitely something to look at um it's so much fun creating it even if you just keep it in pinterest and just scroll through it every day and add more ideas it's so so much fun to have a vision board there are scientific facts to back vision boards up and help you change your life and make your goals turn into your reality make your dreams turn into your reality Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you or just inspired you to create your own vision board. If you did create your own vision board watching this, please show me below. Thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. Be true and be you.